Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to another episode with Maria, my your host. And today, I'm going to talk about the narcissist trait of, um, you know, the African men. I've been making countless of videos about them for the past. I can't remember since I started that playlist, but you can check that playlist. I have so many videos there that you can see and know what I'm all about. I'm not here to make you feel bad as an African man, but I'm looking to talk about things that are of concern from women that you guys are doing that make women feel bad. And if you're in that category of hurting women, then I'm sorry if you feel bad about this video because it's like you don't deserve to even have my sympathy. So especially these are this video is going to concern ourselves with the African men that feels like achieving something or being regarded with a lot of respect and stuff like that is when they got married to a white woman of any race of or any country as long as that woman is not black. There are African men that feels like the only way they have achieved something good in life or they have arrived at that destination of success or affluence or that level of importance that they want the world to see them as important is for them to get a white woman as their wife sometimes i understand there are certain things that maybe due to peer pressure or growing up you feel like you need the validation of people because what i've been seeing mostly is most of these women even these white women making videos online complaining about the things that they have to deal with with these men including the uh, black men some of them as are walking out of them after marriage and after having kids you see you cannot heal a trauma or something that you have been through that has hurt you so badly by thinking that okay i've been hurt by a black woman or something happened along the way i don't want to you know when i look at myself in the mirror i don't like my reflection so i need to feel better about myself i need to go find someone that is not of my complexion or not of my race i can feel better about myself you can't fix your, your life by creating trauma for another person because you are going into that white woman's life not for, to find a love a partner and someone you can build a future with you are going to the white woman's life to feel validated, to feel the level of self-importance that you think that you need. And you can only accomplish that by getting a white woman as your missus. So because of trying to fix yourself and your whatever status or whatever prestige you are trying to acquire, you are in the process of also damaging that woman and the kids you are going to have. But when you talk about stress and, and trauma, you don't talk about the parents. We also look at the kids and that is something that is very important to me i'm passionate about kids because they don't ask to be here every woman can find herself a perfect husband the man of her dreams whether by looks or by money or by job or by whatever a woman desire to be her husband you see but that child that you are bringing into this world has no right you know not like right has no opportunity to choose who the father is. It's just in between that man's thing being swing around. Sometimes some kids get fortunate and blessed to be deposited inside of a good woman that's going to be their mama bear to protect them and guide them despite whatever crap the family is going through. Sometimes some kids are not that lucky to be delivered into good women. Some women use the stress and trauma delivered to them by the father and reflect it on the kids forgetting that hey lady listen this 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 kid was not forced to be here you and her father or his father lay down together and you produce this baby now this child is here you guys are stressed frustrated having so much to deal with but don't project it or pass it down on the child so to every black man out there it's free everyone has their preferences what you like, what you don't like, the kind of woman you want to be with, and the kind of woman you know that you don't want to be with. That's fine. But do that because of love, sincerity, not because of, you know, trying to get back at that your black ex that make you feel like crap, or trying to validate to your community. Because as an African that was born and raised before I moved to Europe, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm from Sierra Leone, West Africa, by the way. There were times that when you have white people going to our counties, 
you will see the old community look at these people like demigods when i was young i used to be so like like you know what is the force about they're just human being like us it's just the skin tone that is different but there is that level of self-importance that people are given even if they are walking in my country we call them white people or white man don't come like even if you're just working with this person the whole community even the family will be happy that oh my son or my daughter is working with this white man just, that just come to town or my daughter got married to this white guy or my son got married to a white lady it's like a whole community glorification like even the parents of the person that got married to a white person will go praises from their friends they'll be walking they'll be like hey that po uh, in, in my dialect yeah. that person didn't pick married to white man like do you see that person there their child got married to a white man yeah. it's like they have this glorification so we have a lot of africans in my county sierra leone that still have this mindset that the thought of being with a white man or being associated with them in any way or form it's like a win it's like a very big win it's like they are glorifying them so we see some young men they travel overseas they fought you know they'll, they'll be fighting just to land themselves a white woman no matter the country as long as she's white with the silk hair and presented in the african mindset as a white that is like the biggest achievement that they will ever accomplish so when i see relationships like that it bothers me i don't care about the the, the spouses but i think of the kids that are going to bring it to the world the woman might be thinking okay i found an african man that loves me or the one be thinking okay i find a uh, you know and uh, what I, what am i even saying a white woman will be saying i found an african man then a white man will say i find an african woman but when i look at the situation i will be thinking that this particular union is not built on love it's built of boosting these people's ego this white man this black guy is going ahead to come out to this white woman because he wants that little accolade from his hometown that he's married to a white person and then where i have a problem now one i have a problem with the kids that are going to bring it to that toxic home because that is not love that is like everybody know what you want you know what i don't like is how these black men that manage to find themselves any white woman they could find will be going ahead making black women feel as if they are crap no one has a problem i seriously david no one cares i'm sorry if i'm using the name of david but it's the name that comes to my mind no one cares if you get married to a white woman but don't don't you know don't disrespect black women don't be saying hey like i don't like black women they're not my type they are this they're not. like seriously when it comes to being picky i don't know if any other black woman but as me sitting here i'm very picky when it comes to relationship so sometimes most of these black women you are even trying to insult you're not even among their category of men that they want so you are just there online making a fool of yourself I saw them on TikTok, I just scroll past. If you're a white woman, you're married to an African man, and he's constantly bragging of how you got married to a white woman, you should be afraid. Because it is not love for him. It is boasting, playing, you know, his ego. Because the people that, yes, I, I, you know, I've been able to bag a white woman. I've been able to gain this woman. She loves me deeply. And some of them will be even calling back home, talking about how the woman does everything that they want, gives them money. And I, I, I'm in charge of her wealth, her houses. They'll be bragging back home. If you like a white woman, you can go ahead and be with a white woman. But don't go about making black women feel like crap. I don't like that. I saw them on TikTok talking about a lot of insultive things being so rude like come on you can't do stuff like that you don't want to be a black woman that's fine 
just shut up and carry on with the woman that you choose. Even though most of us, so we know we know it's because of your ego, or you want to feel important, or you want to feel like you have achieved something in life, and it's a shame, really, because I think that the only achievement you could get, or to put a a value to your name after working so hard, is by getting a white woman. It really shows how much you hate yourself every time you look at the mirror. You feel like your reflection is not enough to make you feel that you have really worked hard and accomplished something. You need to bag someone that is white. It's a shame. You know, I always say, I don't like talking about my people. That is black people. But sometimes they just, they are just like, they're, like, they're just, mm. they're just so annoying. Like, I, I can't, I can't help it. You see them going around and talking, spinning all, sh all sort of nonsense. And then when you try to, like, have a decent communication with them, they'll, they'll, they'll be feeling like as if, you are feeling them. No, no one is feeling you. You are behaving like a decade online. Do you think that is some, something that will attract any black woman? You guys know us. Actually, I don't like I'm talking about white women are submissive and obedient and listening to you like they follow rules. So you want us to be bending down and kissing the, the part you walk on. And it is even disrespectful to think that these white women are like that. No woman is a pushover. You can't push woman around. Women are more than that. Of all race, of all kinds. It's it's so sad when I see my people, people of my kind, behaving in such men, especially the men. I don't like talking about you guys, but sometimes when I go online and see a lot of videos, I don't be like, no matter how tired I am, let us share how I feel because sometimes you make a comment under these videos, you're not even able, able to have a sensible conversation with these people. Like they are just not. So this is my platform. This is how I, this is how I share my voice and what I think about certain topics that I find online. If you like my video, please make sure to subscribe. My name is Mariama, and I will be excited if you decide to join any membership on this channel, so we can talk some personal stuff that I can't discuss here due to violations and stuff. Don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and if you're a black woman feel proud of yourself don't let any black guy that isn't a black white woman make you feel as if you are not enough he could not afford you so he has to settle for what he can afford keep that in your mind